Hi Pushnet, Pushnet, new little video. On well, this one, um, I want to do uh, kind of, I was watching um, a movie yesterday and um, got kind of got an idea, so I wanted to run it um, through the people and see what they think. Um, uh, it's not so much a concept, I mean, I don't have any proof that it would work or anything, but I was watching Master uh, in Command, and you'll ex you'll see in a second why I'm <laughs> watching. And no worries, I'm not sitting really. I'm sitting on the toilet, but I'm not doing anything <laughs> in it. But uh, the reason that I was talking about this is um, uh, there's a lot of cool scene. I mean, you know, a war scene, and you see the doctor doing some surgeries and stuff, and especially the one with the head. It was pretty cool. But um, I was looking at. A lot of the time when they walk in those uh, boats, they're using Amic, and the reason they're using Amic is because they have a hundred. I think it's 117 souls on this little boat. So in a very cramped place, they have to have a lot of people, and therefore Amic is great because you now you can uh, superpose the beds, you can also move it and everything. And I thought that would be such a bad idea to have in a self-reliance medicine kit. Um, because now as a hammock, while some of them are relatively cheap, I mean, you can have one with like made of rope or cheap stuff for like 20, less than 20 bucks in most uh, outdoor stores, but there's some of them like, like a little bit more tissue stuff ish. They're like 70, uh, but they're very compact. And I'm not a hammock person. I mean, I don't really use it in myself. So I, that's why, that's where I, I don't know if most of my ideas would work. But I was thinking about trying it out, out there so for people that use that I make a little bit more to kind of rebound the uh, if the idea sounds sound and uh, if it's worth to pursue. Um, uh, so the thing is that in a lot of self-reliance medicine, things can change. And we talk a little bit about that a few times as uh, either you can run out of uh, supplies or also you could end up if you you're uh, prepared and you have a lot of, of medical uh, gear or knowledge and uh, people may come to you so you may be like a little bit like the clinic of whatever your group or um, if there's a disaster maybe you're the only home that's still standing after the tornado or whatever so that means that you may have more people than you expect in your environment well Having beds in in in, um, in the past, uh, so mean meaning in history, um, the separating the sick from the non-sick has always been very important. And actually, it took a long time to discover the germ theory, but um, a lot of time to discover that. And I mean, we're talking about pre, uh, uh, like in the Arabic times so of like pre uh, BCs uh, in the BC times that um, if you separated your sick from the non-sick well people were not getting as sicker which makes sense and that means if I have a bacteria or whatever then that means I cannot transmit it so that means that you kind of have to separate the sick patient the sick people from the non-sick and so just like hospital, basically that's what a hospital is. You're separating the, the patient that you have and stuff. But the problem is now, if you have one little room, um, you don't maybe don't have as much mattress that you would like to. Um, so what I was thinking was hammock, because in uh, master uh, in command, a lot of, I mean you see hammock uh, upside down, so they like they make like bunk bed. So that means that. Uh, in a, even in a house, obviously, and then this is one of the reasons I would try it here, but you could break up the wall and take the beams and pass your hammock through there. And so now, basically, now you can have maybe in the same space that we have one person, you can have maybe two person up upside down. So that means that in the same room, you can maybe have like four or five people, where before you could have maybe had one or two maximum if you would have put mattress. So now with hammocks, that means that those patients 
MD uh, can be uh, moved at different at different levels. Um, the other advantage also for a hammock or, or the other use of a stinking pillow hammock is now you can also have a cheap stretchers. So that means that you can put one in your um, in your first aid kit ish kind of thing and that means now you can have something to carry uh, someone uh, if you had to. Uh, uh, the other use of it as well is that it can have different positions and there's some videos out there that you know show how they use their hammock as a chair. Well now that means also you can use that for your patient so if your patient wants to lay down it's just like as bed has what we call the semi fall or the fowler position means that you know the bed goes up or down that means that you can also do that with your hammocks that means you can have different position which is a little bit harder with um, regular beds where you just have a mattress that means you, you would have to bring the patients itself uh, so, but that means now with the hammock with either uh, a set of pulleys or a different set of, uh, of ropes and knots in the cord you could pretty much change the position of your patient um, another uh, thing that I was thinking and I'm not quite sure again I'm not sure about that one but <clears throat> It seems to me that our pressure uh, ulcers wouldn't be as much of a deal in a piece of tissue because of the way that the hammock works. It seems like it's not putting as much pressure as a hard surface like a mattress would do on certain patients. That means you maybe wouldn't even need to change position as much as you would like to. Um, the other uh, thing that I was thinking to said, that, like I was saying, so now any rooms that you have so if if you have uh, and this is where we're getting to the part where I am now that means that if you have someone that has a infectious disease and most big disaster I think that would happen beside like uh, uh, God's main uh, like hurricane a natural disaster so like disaster uh, floods and and, uh, and hurricane and all those um, would be an epidemic and like H1N1 or, um, or any other or even if you have a big earthquake all those that means your water sanitation would be good it would be as good and Guardia, uh, Jardia sorry would be another one that could uh, come out well uh, a lot of those disease either the they could be airborne or dro uh, droplets and not so bad because yeah, you can just protect yourself but if they're airborne or if you have like major diarrhea so that means we're talking about like you know um, diarrhea by the bucket well then a setup here in, in, uh, in um, uh, to separate those patients from from the others in the bathroom that means that they have everything I mean so if you look at what you have here, that means that, you know, like you have water, so that means that, you know, they can supplement their, uh, their needs and stuff. And obviously, it's not a big, uh, big room here, but, uh, I mean, you know, we're not in the perfect uh, situations. Um, the other thing is that uh, the bathroom here, so that means, like, if I can get in the back here, there's probably a beam, there's wood, wood beam somewhere over there, or even if I would have had to. You know, again, like I wouldn't do that here because, but, uh, you know, if you're in a disaster situation, there's probably a beam there somewhere. And that means you could tie your, um, your hammock in this position. And now, if you have, in, okay, this part will be disgusting, but <laughs> it needs to be addressed. And we'll do a video on, on that part. But if you have a lot of diarrhea, uh, there's a, a part uh, there's a uh, in the um, other countries um, sometimes they'll do a bed with literally a hole in the middle because people will have so much diarrhea that you cannot just change people uh, that means I would be like a full-time job well now if I have someone over here in the hammock and I make a hole in the hammock that means it falls into the the bathroom and on a regular basis you know I come with a a bucket or I take the shower head or whatever and clean that 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 uh, that those tools out of the way in there but it stays in there that means it's content and it's contained into the bathroom and doesn't contain uh, doesn't contaminate anybody else in the uh, in, in the house so that means that any disease here that would, would be staying in this room um, uh, the other thing too is this little device. 
So that ventilator, well, that, that um, not so much ventilator, but that ventilation port has a little fan in it. So obviously there's still electricity. So if we're talking about a pandemic, there most likely would still be some electricity going, hopefully, or if not, then your generator and stuff. But this thing, if you have an airborne disease and you put someone in here, that means that this, the, the, the air in, the, in this room would be going out this way, not so much in your environment. So that means that just being here, it's much easier to uh, keep whatever disease or, or uh, bacteria or virus or, or whatever um, thing that was making this person sick con uh, contained inside uh, the bathroom. And also, a bathroom has one advantage too is that because they're made, they're kind of dirty because of whatever we're doing here is that they're easier to clean. So that means that you don't have any carpets, you don't have any um, anything to... Uh, so even if someone, and again, we're, we'll do more videos about that, but if somebody dies or, or have a big disease here, that means now I can bleach the whole crap out of this thing and use it for another reason. But it's easier to clean than if I have uh, carpets like this and stains went in there and now the bacteria or, or whatever is inside there so versus this here much much easier to clean so that's what all the thinking that came with the, so for that hammock idea and also um, now it means that you can buy maybe six or seven of them and that means now you have beds that either if a person die or have an infectious disease, instead of changing a whole mattress, that means you can change just the hammock. So you just literally throw the hammock or you bury them with the hammock. Uh, and having uh, like a little cheap plastic um, curtain like this, you can literally recreate almost like a, a hospital room inside a little room by just putting a little uh, cord beside and separating patient, well, people, uh, one from the other, with a little curtain like this that you can buy at the dollar store. So that's why I thought about the idea of the hammock is that now you can have maybe like a little pile like this, and that's maybe six or seven hammocks. So that that means that six or seven beds that you can have people inside. Um, obviously, you would need to have a little bit more, uh, like if you have a broken leg. Not sure how good it is, but even I think like if you would put maybe piece of wood or or something to create you make a certain structures to your hammock maybe you would uh, be able to help but anyway I wanted to throw the idea out there because of this because it has so much potential of being able to modify because like if you have to leave your house that that means now you have that little pile in your backpack uh, in your medical backpack and that means that you can now almost establish a, uh, a, a clinic anywhere else. Oh, another uh, situation in it, right now it's winter here, but if it would be summer and it's warm outside or you're living in a, uh, an environment where it's warm outside, that means that you can also set, set those type of people outside in, a, uh, in your backyard. So instead of having mattress, that means that you can set it up in your backyard um, and having this. And so it means like you don't have to have as much um, uh, maintenance uh, you can carry a few of them and it seems like there's a lot of potential to it anyway um, that's the idea and uh, if you have any comments or anything just uh, leave them below but hopefully uh, that uh, sparks some um, some interest and we'll talk to you soon